What up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mug. Today, we're going to do a Warboss Chop Shop episode how to build a Master Engineer and Monkey Ringo. So, this is Master Simpkins of the Empire and his Monkey Ringo. The two kits you're going to need are the Empire Handgunners kit, specifically the little monkey there in the front, the powder monkey, and the long rifle in the stand, and the body. The head and the cape come from the General of the Empire kit, which I recently unboxed and was kind of the motivation for this video. So let's get started. At the beginning of the video, you can see that I've already glued the, um, the, the body, the torso and the legs come attached. The rifle comes attached to the arms. So I glued that in and now I'm going to put a little bit of glue into the stand and put the stand on a separate base. Now this is not something you need to do. In fact, I've seen people um, do the long rifle as a unit upgrade and stick it in the front of a unit of handgunners. But for us, we're gonna make our master engineer a character model and kind of keep him in the back by all the artillery so he can just pop off some shots or help the, the Hellstorm firing rocket battery or where the cannons do their job well. Uh, in Ringo Simpkins Day 24 July Painting Challenge video, he said if uh, Games Workshop made a model of him, he would like to be an engineer with a giant honkin' rifle standing at the back of the lines and, and um, helping out the cannons. So this is what the video is all about. Now here you can see I'm putting little Ringo the monkey onto a separate base. This is again something that I've never really seen done before but I think it's such a great little figure and you've got that that little stand for the front of the rifle anyways so I'm just adding him on. And all of this is from the Empire Handgunners kit. So I know you can also get them online from Bit Sellers. Uh, I, I just happen to have some some lying about and then I decided to get the General of the Empire kit to help round it out because Ringo also said he'd like a nice long cape, a big fancy feather in his cap. So there you go. Ringo is uh, one of the most dedicated July Challenge participants in the past two years I believe since uh, I've been doing it and uh, he's, he's a great guy. Most of you already know him because of all the videos he's done. So uh, I'm really happy to do this shout out video to you, Ringo. Thank you for the care package, for all the videos, and for uh, being such a great top quality guy. Don't forget he's also doing his advent challenge during the Christmas season. And he sent me a care package which, with a bunch of 6mm Byzantine Empire kit. Oops. So I'm going to see if I can um, do something with them. This advent season. So here I'm putting the head on. You want to make sure that when you use any kind of glue, you give the glue enough time to set, especially with this kit or this conversion kit bash where the points of contact are so small. As you can see the stand that attaches to the front barrel of the rifle there. It's a very small area so with uh, Ringo the monkey on the front there's a lot of weight on the front part of the model so I wanted to make sure that I let it dry for a couple of hours in between um, adding the head so that's what that looks like and then the cape is great because you can use it for a model that's just standing up straight or you can add it to a model who's on a horse to give it a sense of flow and I actually think this bit is a is a terrific bit if you can find it it's in the Empire or General of the Empire model set and you can use it for a uh, Warhammer, you can use it for 40k, you can use it for any kind of 28 millimeter heroic model. Alright so there you go, thanks for watching, check out Ringo's channel, I'll put the link in the description and we'll see you in the next video. Thumbs up, latest players!